है हमारी बाबा पर दो वो पूरी आके मिल जाओ प्यारे बाबा हम बच्चों से आके मिल जाओ प्यारे बाबा हम बच्चों से आके मंडल में फैलाओ नहीं समाधो इतना कर सकते हो दो से बोलो सुनो सभी जोर से पालो बोलो हाँ जी मुबारक हो मुबारक आज तीन मास के बाद रिपोर्ट देखेंगे कोई रिपोर्ट नहीं निकलनी चाहिए एक दो को फैमिली चलते समा देना और समझा देना प्यार से झगड़ा नहीं हो अच्छा बैठ जाओ Shanti. Perform the dance of harmonizing sanskars, flowers of love. Bab Dada is teaching you children the study to make you into world emperors. Those who are going to become world emperors will become loving to all. Just as the Father is loving to all, and everyone loves him, in the same way, let love shower from each one for all souls. When flowers of love are showered here, they will also be showered on the non-living images. Therefore, aim to become worthy of being showered with flowers of love from everyone. You will receive love by giving 
your cooperation. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Welcome to Avikti Parivar. Today is day 20. Perform the dance of harmonizing sanskars. Today's topic, followers, sorry, flowers of love. Now we will listen to Mohini Didi. Om Shanti. Each one is the fl flower of love. Mm. As soon as we look at flower, love emerges. Nobody would ever like to throw flowers, crush flowers. But they make it the offering, offering of flowers. So it's so beautiful uh, to become the flower of love. Last time, I think it was January 18th. As you know that they decorate whole place with flowers. So many flowers. They started decorating Tower of Silence and few places. But day by day, every Every time, more, more flowers, more flowers. So I heard the story they were saying that there is a person who had land. And of course, he used to grow vegetables and whatever his, uh, as, as farmer, his products were. But then he just felt that I can put some flowers. And when they were, he was putting flower seeds, he said, I wish these flowers can go to Madhuban and decorate Tower of Peace. So a time came, he was able to offer. And then he grew beautiful, large quantity flowers that trucks can be brought full of flowers. And the flowers were Thai flowers, different countries flowers, whatever he can grow. And he's so happy that the flowers from his land can be used on Baba's Day for decoration. So many flowers. I don't know. You all must have seen, of course, in video, the colors and the shape and quantity and amazing. And then there were a few others who were inspired and they were from other state and they started growing flowers. So it's very, very interesting to see that when there is love, you just want to grow flowers and offer flowers. So, you no know, Baba also, sometimes we say something about flowers and Baba says, children, you are, love, are my living flowers. You are my living flowers. So when there is love in the heart for Baba, you are like flower. When there is no love, your nature is like a thorn, right? Thorn pricks, right? But the flower brings a lot of joy, happiness. So each one of us, we have to uh, remind ourselves uh, that we are flowers of love. 
Baba always says that Kalyug Iron Age is the forest of thorns and Golden Age is the garden of flowers. Baba has come to change us from thorn to flowers. So internally we also feel day by day that we have more and more love. We're receiving from Baba and also we are able to share with others. It's only when you receive love, you can share love. And each one of us internally should feel that I am being loved. It's both ways sometimes some people don't love. Many souls are not that much love. But there is something where there is a blockage where you're not feeling that you are being loved. You always feel you are rejected or neglected or whatever it is. So as much we become pure, clean, humble, then you are all, uh, what they call it, arteries are open to receive love. You know? Like blood is important. Now we come to know anywhere you don't get blood, that's where the, that organ doesn't function well, right? Whether it is legs or brain or uh, neck or anything, what is needed is supply of enough blood. Blood is in the body, not going to that part. So they try to uh, do something about that. So same is I feel energy of love. Sometimes you don't feel in your heart. Sometimes you don't feel when you are being served or given food. And you will be surprised uh, that the flower which Brother Eric presents is all its love, you know, is because of love is growing bigger and bigger. I mean, everyone thinks that we take care of plants with love, but there must be something very, very special uh, because it takes a lot of effort to grow a plant. To take care of plant, it's really not easy. You suddenly know why it's dying. So I feel when Baba uses saying that you are the flower, yeah, love is flower, I really like it. And um, even us being offered to Baba, Baba gives the example of Ak flower and jasmine flower. On Shiva, they offer the ak flower. It's very, very bitter. But Baba changes us into jasmine flowers. So Bab Dada is teaching you children the study to make you into world emperors. Each one of us, in a way, we are masters of the world. It's a very, very unlimited, big family, Brahma Kumaris, big family. And their love is like world loves you. Our love for the family and their love for me. I realize so much and it's so profound, the love of the family. It's really Everyone, you know, just there is so much love. Those who are going to become world emperors will become loving to all. Just as the father is, uh, father is loving to all and everyone loves him. In the same way, let love shower from each one for all souls. Baba says when flowers of love are showered here, then they will also be showered on the non-living images. Therefore, Baba says after 
therefore, to become, aim is to become worthy of being showered with flowers of love from everyone. You will receive love by giving your cooperation. It's a very real kind of love, not just emotional or feelings, and but it's real. So you kind of share when there is any uh, mishap happen, you share your sympathy, you share your whatever way you can help. It's not that when everything is okay, then you cooperate. But whenever there is the need, you really reach at the time of the need. So love from the heart. It's like touching comes, that one needs help. Just a call maybe. It's not you are sending money, but just a good a call. Oh, you call me. I feel very much power. I feel sakash. So that is why when thought comes to call someone, just call. That's what I do. Just call. So it's like the heart can experience that there is someone who is caring for me. And that is why and there is tradition in Brahmin life. When we don't see anyone, then sometimes, maybe because of any reason, you can't call. Recently, I asked someone else, I haven't seen this Baba's child. Maybe you could call. So it's unlimited family, unlimited sharing and giving of offering of flowers all the time. So just remember to offer to each other the flower of love. Om Shanti. <laughs> Om Shanti. Here is the flower. <laughs> Om is it the same same one of last week or you get a no, no 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 this is fresh one. Oh, I wow. go, I go and get it from the plant one minute before coming. So it's mm. a it's a fresh one. It's blooming every day. I go to the plant and you say yes we take care of the plant with love so I, I whisper your name to the plant and next day it, it blooms. <laughs> no so how many you get? At the time, when? At the moment, there is about uh, 10 or 15. It's, oh, the, wow. it's exploding at the moment. It's the time, the spring. And during the summer, it keeps going all the summer long, the whole summer. It only rests in the winter a little bit. And this is a big jasmine. So it's like, a, it's a very, very strong smell. It's big, you see? It's the size of, uh, it goes on my hand. <laughs> so, oh, it's yeah. beautiful. You keep the plant outside or inside? Inside in the winter. Mm. And I take it outside during the summer. So it's already, it's already outside, right? It's spring. Now I'm waiting. It's still too cold here. It's a little bit cold in the night. Mm. So it's by the window. It's by the window. It gets a lot of sun. And it likes it to give those flowers. And the mm -hmm. whole room can smell, you know, in the evening. Particularly at Amrit Vela, it likes to release the fragrance in the morning and the, in the evening. That's so it's right. very, very fragrant. Mm. And when I offer you this one, then this one I put in the water and I take it close to my bed. And it smells when I wake up, when I go to bed, it smells very, very beautiful. That means you have to keep plant with you, right? The company also must be helping. <laughs> yes. I don't know. It uh, helps you and also you are helping the flower because today our jasmine flower, some or other, got uh, died and uh, Bhumi was very, very touched. Mm. Very, very much like, oh, I had been taking care for four or five years and somebody put it outside so it died in the cold. Oh. We were not here two months so somebody was watering very regularly. 
but then some or other when it went out it couldn't take the cold mm. so yeah they're but, delicate they're a little bit they need love they need love to grow <laughs> one thing i noticed that love for the nature mm. you know is very important because love for human being but human beings are sustained by nature so when i was young always at the center i will water the lawn of the front of the center always of course uh, plants and everything but especially these we didn't have sprinkles like we have now sprinkles turn on at the right time and all the flowers and lawn is watered so every day i will do it and then when i came here to usa every day even in the white house every evening i will take the hose and i will but then later on once or twice i fell because the hose was very heavy so i was pulling 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 and then i fell and then sisters everyone starts we tell you not to do we always tell you not to do why you do it? because one time i couldn't get up for half an hour so i said maybe i should stop but when i see there are some souls they have no feelings for plants or you know they see something drying but they won't think that i can water it so there is something i feel you know today like i was after reading this uh, avyakti signal i was really thinking that even god loves those who have love you know mm. there has to be this quality of love where you can share with everyone including nature you know so as much we share with nature nature will not only serve us but my nature will also become like flower you know where there is sweetness there is fragrance fragrance there is softness and you don't hurt anyone you know because the thorn yesterday day before somewhere i went and they all were giving flowers but the branches had so many thorns and i saw from far so i tried to hold it that it doesn't break my fingers because those thorns are very strong mm. very strong so i think it's very very good inspiration for all of us especially brahmins to be soft to be gentle to be fragrant and be like a flower that means that fragrance is again of love you know i like it when you when you mention or baba mentions that if we look at the flower you know the namurli baba used to bring flowers sometimes and he used to ask are you like this or like that look they're different different color different shape but i like the idea today of asking myself if i am like a living jasmine flower and am i growing also with love so it is a beautiful connection with nature indeed yeah yeah but uh, we do experience when you went to australia and now again you traveling somewhere different places you do experience no love of the souls mm that also not only makes us blossom but very good feelings emerge and uh, that's also when i am in shanti one i feel so much love from everyone and uh, they come close and want to take drishti and i tell them as if they there is sucking something you know then i realize it's just love it's god's love pure love and uh, so love is seems to be good lot of power in love right what do you what do you suggest to some souls who sometimes they say you know i try hard i meditate i read baba's murli but i don't really feel his love deep in my heart or it's not big you know it's a little sometimes what do you feel is the reason and what should they do to increase the experience of love from baba as i mentioned that there is blood in the body but the blood flow is not stopped in that part of the body and these days in india and here they always talk about uh, any blockage is there any clot is there because that's where the problems begin so 
they keep cleaning not only bypass for every part of the body, but so what is the blockage, you know? Is there some fear? Is there some hurt? Is there some misunderstanding? There is something in that soul that that flow of love is not experienced, right? So I think that everyone has to find the reason is different for everyone. And uh, some themselves have blocked it in the sense of they don't want to receive it or there could be many reasons, you know. So everyone should really look at why supply of love is blocked, you know. My heart doesn't feel, my brain doesn't feel. You know, some days like I feel so much love for the body and from the body. And I just, you know, touch it and I say, oh, God has given, nature has given such a, uh, you know, you really appreciate even body. So many, so many parts of body. And then when you look at that, how even if the body is mortal, but when soul is immortal and our relationship with body is very pure, no attachment, no, but very pure relationship with body. So I think that each one has to look at, and then again, as you said, what is the reason? Well, you have to go to specialists, right, to find out how many blockages and what surgery can be done. So Dadi Janki used to say, I do heart surgeries. Mm. <laughs> but people are holding something in the heart. Some say, oh, I was not treated well and now it's okay. So treated well was passed, but they're still holding that. And their anger, their subtle anger for anything. And then a lot of negativity, a lot of criticism, a lot of so we have to look into that, where heart had been hurt and uh, what were your expectations they didn't get fulfilled. That is where this uh, blockage comes is that you didn't receive what you were expecting from that person. Okay, you're going to a center. It depends, you know, how we protect ourselves not to be hurt. So we went... Uh, I think generally when we used to come to Ahmedabad and we will stop at one of the center. Generally in India, there is a lot of hospitality. So when we leave, they had finished lunch and uh, they didn't have anything in their pots. I saw pots were empty on that. So we thought they will give us some salty snacks or, you know, like one place we went and this sister was... Uh, she went, uh, you know, there was something on the top of his shelf, took out a container, and they were dried potato chips. Mm. And she put the oil in the, you know, in the pot and then start frying. Said, oh, I don't have anything, at least I could fry and give you that. We were so happy, so touched. You know, so I think sometimes you, your expectation might not be fulfilled. But you shouldn't be disappointed. Now, when we get disappointed or discouraged, that's a blockage. So we have to see what, where our feelings are blocked, you know. And once we open it, I think you will experience abundance and abundance of love. Abundance, really. Do you think that the, um, the blockages sometimes in receiving Baba's love are the same blockages that people feel for feeling love for Baba? You know, are the blockages the same? Because some say, yeah, am I loving Baba really? Do I love him really? And we can sometimes question the quality of our love. Is it real or is it leftover from Bhakti or is it imaginary love? Is it real love? Are the blockages the same, you think? I think whatever kind of love is there, the response from Baba will be same. Whether it is a bhakti, whether it is I need something. But I don't know for me, 
love is with God is eternal. When I say eternal is that really there is only one who will always be with me and support me, one strength and one support. And uh, also because he is my parents, he is my creator. His love is always there for each one of me, each one of us. So not able to receive God's love or not, or doubting is this true love, you can feel through the response. Like Baba is talking in the Murli about God's sustenance, that at Confluence Age. And, and I really kind of see the comparison of Lokic people's sustenance and God's sustenance. Our Brahmin life, you know, every day fresh food, every day, in every day the way we are, even it could be because of yagya, because of family, but in everything of sustenance there is love. But if you don't feel that, you know, <laughs> what I'm saying, you go to Madhuban, Every day you get fresh breakfast, fresh lunch. Mm. You are taken care of for your tea, coffee, or cleaning, or a bed. Whatever is given to us, if we compare it with Loki, is much, much sustainable, consistent, selfless. But still, if you don't feel the love, that means you are not seeing what is what is in that sustenance, right? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I feel every everything which is done in Madhuban is just because of love. You are given takeaway food. And those who really make it, you will be surprised how much love they have. They don't just make it so let people take it. This time I visited some of the some of the departments in the kitchen. And one was takeaway food. How much they think, what should be there, what shouldn't be there, what will spoil, what will keep. Let's add something extra, little pickle. And so all that is coming from love of God, right? They love Baba, so they love Yajna, so they love their duties. And of course, then because of the love for the family, you know, beautifully. So, but then we have to somewhere appreciation of that love. So today I was thinking that love in the human form can be seen in Madhuban. Mm. You were mentioning about the jasmine plant that didn't get sustenance and got dried. I think it's connected also with the topic of harmonizing sanskaras. And we would wish that that love would be always fragrant, like the flower would be always fresh and always radiant. But is there something to do with karmic account sometimes that can interfere? And I remember one day when I was mentioning to you about certain situation, clash of sanskaras between souls. And I was telling you, Sister Muni, what should we do? What should you do? Don't you have a little magic stick? And can we do something? And we should say something. Please call them, do something. And he said, Eric, this is karmic accounts. You know, what can you do? It's, uh, there's also karmic accounts involved. Mm. So in harmonizing sanskaras, how do you compose with, yes, bringing love, experiencing love? But what happens when there are karmic accounts? So Baba always says, remember me, and that will help you. So mm. don't react, don't uh, comment. Just keep love and remembrance. As much you are in remembrance of Baba, the roads will be clear in the sense of uh, love can emerge, communication can begin. And definitely one is past karmic accounts. But then when we are settling, don't battle, you know. When you are settling, do it peacefully, lovefully. So that while doing, sometimes we create also. You're giving, but you're not giving with love. But if you really do it with love, in remembrance of Baba, then the settling happens. 
and you're not battling inside because you are in remembrance of Baba. So it's very, very subtle. And very few of us do that way because we, do, we don't realize what is victory, you know. Victory is only when you can, when you, uh, when you don't react or you still love that soul, whatever that soul is. Like one of the things which I start doing, which sometimes people are amazed that I try to listen those who never get chance to be heard. And I say, unless they will be heard, they will remain same. And as soon as you really love them, like to say hello to them or you allow them to come to you, big change happen. <laughs> well, wherever I go, uh, one place I don't want to mention name. And so the person's one soul, very troubling. She was troubled inside, so she will create troubles outside. We should not forget that there is something bothering them. So she also becomes very violent sometimes. So now that soul just wanted to have photograph standing next to me. And I told her, come, 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 let's have. Because I knew there is some unfulfilled desires in her, which is making her angry and upset. And so I tried little, little. There is a lot of change in her, in her anger. Not only that, but whenever I go, it's like she just wants to come near. She just wants to uh, touch my hand or something. And I could feel that there is something blocking, something she really needs. So, <laughs> but others feel why I'm wasting time and why I'm paying more attention and but I feel that's the cure, that's the healing for that soul. And one soul, it's not only good for me, but whole gathering will enjoy later on the change which will happen. So there are many, their stories are never heard or nobody helped them to understand or get a little solution. But then they laugh, they smile. And uh, so I know it's a little bit of, uh, some people feel that if someone is very cooperative, someone is very good yogi, someone helps with Babaji Aigya, you will love them. But I feel there are many who really need love for their transformation or to heal. So karmic accounts are there, but I don't have karmic account with that soul. She has it with others, right? So why should I look at that soul the way soul is with others? I should begin with that eternal love. I should begin with God's love. And then the smile will start coming and changes. There are many, many souls because of whatever their sanskars, they're not able to get along with others. But if you give them love, respect, big changes happen, big changes. Mm. Well, I'm sure we can come back to that point. It's very nice. And, you know, I really appreciate when you share your personal bhavna or dharna. And I think it really inspires me, but many others, I'm sure, to understand different facets of love. Because sometimes we think of love on a fairly superficial level. You know, just like, you know, beautiful expression of love, saying I love you and yes, I miss you, everything. But you're sharing an aspect of love and I know you're a more introspective person and the way you express your love is maybe less visible. Maybe some people don't see it as love, but in a way it is a beautiful way to love. So I think you are visibly like a real jasmine flower, but I think in you lives many, many jasmine flowers as well. So thank you for sharing them. And it's inspiring to see how you express your love in a way that maybe we don't see sometimes. So. I told you many times, you're more and more loving. I really enjoy seeing you. <laughs> you are becoming a bigger, bigger Jasmine every time I see you. <laughs> so thank you for sharing, Winnie Didi. <laughs> and we are bringing the tollies. We have a lot of tollies. <laughs> yes. Are the tollies becoming bigger and bigger every time? <laughs> Not the same size for the last 80 years, no? <laughs> Are some people coming from Montreal? We can send some. Yes, many are coming for the uh, Madhuban experience. There are? 
Yes, there will be. We will send it. Okay, Good yes. Lovely. You yes, like spicy? Many spicy. coming. Uh... You like sweet or spicy one? I like both. One after the other. One spicy first and then the sweet. <laughs> so this, this is a special trolley. We will send for you and everyone. There are cashews outside, rolls, and pistachio inside. So they call them cashew rolls. Nice. So very, very tasty and healthy totally. Very little sweet. And this they call it sweet samosa. <laughs> it's mm. like samosa. Oh, yes. The gugra they nice call it. Inside, yeah. So we have, mm -hmm. uh, we have a couple coming to see you on the... Uh for the retreat and you'll see they are bringing you a very, very special gift, big gift. You'll let me know. <laughs> and salty. This is Chanadal. Chanadal. So yeah. we will send few things with them. How many yes. suitcase, uh, how many suitcase of Tolly did you bring from Madhuban? One sweet, one of sweet, one of salty. No. Wow. No? Six, six bags. Huh? Six bags of she, she says six bags. Six bags, yeah. Because we brought like for every center. Mm. But the brother who is now in charge, of course, Atam Prakash, and their other one is Kishore. Right. A big one who dances a lot. Very, very generous. So we say we need 600 trolleys. And when he sends, he says 900, you can share more, 800. Mm. So he always gives a few hundred extra. So we make packs and boxes and anyone who comes Gita Parshala center or one who couldn't go, we give them good pack of trolleys. Nice. So I don't know why people have, you ask little and they give you more and more. Mm -hmm. But that must also be because of love, right? Yes, love is growing and love is blooming. That's true. I am kind of amazed too. Mm. The flow right. is. Mm. Thank you, Mani Didi, a lot. And oh, okay. yes, may this flower bloom in your heart forever. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, everyone. Om Shanti. There is jasmine also of yellow color, right? Uh, Yasmin, yeah. I've always seen your white, but I'll check. Maybe there's yellow. Something which is very good smell is yellow, no? Because somebody brought a nice garland. And Baba also used to bring, and they were like uh, saffron. Yeah, yeah. There's different, different type of jasmine, yeah? Maybe, this is yeah. called jasmine of the cap, okay. or jasmine of the cape. In English, uh, cape something. So I don't know. They call it jasmine okay. of cape. It's uh, gardenia. And then the other jasmine is the small one. Yeah, they are yellow little. Hmm? Yeah, no, somebody brought garland. Hmm. But they smell so good, so yes. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm sent to you, Good night. Okay. Good night. संगम युग का वर्षा यही है शिव से मिलन मनाना समय स्वास संकल्प सभी सेवा में लगाना पवित्रता बरसाए जग में पवित्रता बरसा फरिश्ता झलक तुम्हारी फरिश्ता झलक तुम्हारी शिव पिता ने दी है तुमको शिव पिता ने दी है तुमको श्रीमत कितनी प्यारी श्रीमत कितनी प्यारे 
दूसरी चीज जो मैंने देखा है जो संबंध व्यवहार में और पारिवारिक जीवन में बहुत काम आती है निमित्त और निर्माण भाव के साथ साथ वो मैंने देखा है कि संबंधों में चाहे आप व्यवहार में हैं चाहे आप परिवार में हैं बहुत चीज काम आती है वो है ट्रस्ट विश्वास अगर हमारा जिनके साथ हम रह रहे हैं उन उनको हमारे साथ एक दूसरे के साथ विश्वास नहीं है वो कैसा जीवन है आप देखिए एक फैमिली में हम रहते हैं हस्बैंड वाइफ हैं बच्चे हैं इकट्ठे रह रहे हैं मगर हमारा एक दूसरे में ट्रस्ट नहीं है विश्वास नहीं आप देखिए कि वो जीवन कैसे होगा मैं विस्तार में नहीं जाता मगर आप देखिए ट्रस्ट का आधार क्या है हम कहते तो है कि विश्वास होना चाहिए या विश्वास करना चाहिए विश्वास का आधार क्या है विश्वास का आधार है सच्चाई सत्यता रिलेशन में सत्यता सच्चाई नहीं छुपाना झूठ बोल देना है उसको जैसे है अगर सत्यता रिलेशन में नहीं है विश्व तो विश्वास कहां से आएगा विश्वास का आधार क्या है सच्चाई नहीं और जहां सत्यता नहीं विश्वास नहीं तो प्यार कहां से आएगा प्यार तो बाद की बात है रियल लव जिसे हम कहते हैं वो कहां से आएगा संबंधों में विश्वास ही नहीं है और ये सच्चाई है आज के लोगों के संबंधों में आज कठिनाइयां हैं पारिवारिक और व्यवहारिक जीवन में ये कठिनाइयां हैं एक दूसरे में विश्वास नहीं है मगर विश्व अगर कई दफा प्रश्न ये पैदा हो जाता है मैंने देखा है इसको ये तो ठीक है एकेडमिक लेक्चर हो गया कि होना चाहिए हो कैसे प्रैक्टिकल एस्पेक्ट हो कैसे रिलेशनशिप में मेरा ऐसा अनुभव है मैं सच्चाई से कहता हूं कि हम हर एक के साथ सच्चाई से चलना आरंभ कर देंगे हम सच्चाई से चले कई दफा मुझे लोग कहते हैं मेरे पास आते हैं कहते हैं कि हम तो सच्चाई से चलते हैं दूसरा नहीं चलता है मैं कहता नहीं चले नहीं चले कहते कोई कहते वो धोखा दे दे मैं कहते दे दे वे धोखा मगर अगर वो बदलेगा उसके अंदर चेंज आएगी तो मेरे व्यवहार में अगर ये चीजें आते हैं तो उसको बदल सकते हैं फर्स्ट इसलिए कहते हैं सो परिवर्तन से विश्व परिवर्तन अगर चेंज आ सकती है संभव है तो उसको केवल इसलिए होगी कि मेरे अंदर वो चेंज आनी चाहिए फर्स्ट मैं अपने आप से पूछूं मेरा विश्वास है मेरा विश्वास है मैं मैं कहूंगा नहीं विश्वास है क्योंकि वो सच्चाई से नहीं चलते हैं अच्छा फिर क्या हुआ होगा कैसे ठीक कैसे होगा विश्वास नहीं है सच्चाई से नहीं चलते हैं प्यार भी ऊपर का है ठीक कैसे होगा ठीक कैसे होगा कौन करेगा ठीक अच्छा हम बैठ करके शुभ भावना शुभ कामना रखे बाबा इसको ठीक कर दो बाबा इसको ठीक कर दो बाबा कहगा पहले आप ठीक हो जाओ
Om Shanti Avikti Parivar. So tomorrow is Sunday and our schedule from Amrit Vila 3.30 a.m. to 4.45 a.m. Meditation will start at 6 a.m. followed by Hindi Sakar Muli. Followed by meditation, then English Avik Muli until 9.15 a.m. Then we will be having Bhog Offering by Mohini Didi. The Bhog Offering will be in Harmony House. So we will be connecting through Harmony House. Mohini Didi will be there. And there will be a Bhog message sharing also. So Vikti Parivar will join as well. In the evening, 6 o'clock, but he will start. We will be having wall meditation hour from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. And we'll have Hindi series, English series, and Avikti journey. Welcome to Avikti journey. Avik Murli is from 1969. Multi-million fold fortune and blessings. Om Shanti, Avyakt Murli, 14th of April, 1973. The power of gathering, one thought. So today, Bab Dada is asking the children when and how they will lift the Iron Age at Moncton. You have been told how. But when will it be lifted? When you give the order. Are you ever ready in a constant stage? What order will Baba give? The order you will be given is to stabilize yourself in a constant stage within a second. Are you ever ready to put such an order into practice? That second is a second for all time. It should not be that you stabilize yourself for one second and then come down again. In order to enlighten non gani souls, you constantly have pure wishes and benevolent feelings and then try to enlighten them. In the same way, do you try to stabilize this divine gathering in a constant stage and also to increase the power of the gathering by using various methods of with one another? Do you also make plans through which visions can be received of the image of this divine gathering in their constant stage? As long as the constant stage of this divine gathering is not revealed, the revelation of Bab Dada will not come close. Are you ever ready to such an extent? You have kept the aim of being world benefactors, not of being an independent king. You will attain your aim by imbibing the qualifications. The responsibility of each Brahmin is not just to make the self constant, but to be cooperative in order to enable the entire gathering to be stabilized in a constant stage. Do not become happy just because you're all right by yourself. No. If within a selection or a necklace, even one bead is different, that necklace does not look beautiful. So too, the power of the gathering is the speciality of this 
godly knowledge. Om Shanti.
प्यार करते देखा है तुमको बाबा रूह को प्यार करते रूह को प्यार करते ओम शांति ओम शांति